want to make a kebab. Uh, we call that kebab kubide. Uh, although I'm gonna do it in uh, Turkish style, uh, Turks using lots of uh, variety of the vegetable in it, like a uh, cilantro, parsley, uh, different variety of the pepper. Uh, so it's a different taste. I'm not saying one is better than the other, but uh, this is uh, one of the ground beef kebab which we skewer for a. Uh, two pound of ground beef i'm gonna use uh, two onion i like to use uh, two different color onion like a red and yellow uh, for the test for every pound of ground beef you need one onion two medium um, onion and then I have a handful of the parsley and a handful of the cilantro I have a couple garlic and the full jalapeno which I seeded I'm gonna put everything in the food processor to make the life easy onion jalapeno you see it's a two color onion garlic, parsley, cilantro. I'm gonna keep a little of the onion back because I wanna see how much liquid is gonna get in here. Uh, in the ground beef kebab, one of the reason uh, it doesn't stay in the skewer because it is too much liquid in it. So you could either separate the onion juice or you could uh, put the onion little by little. This is my mixture. I'm gonna add a teaspoon of uh, coriander seed to it and onion powder garlic powder salt okay the tomorik because I'm making a Turkish it should be a spicy a red pepper this red pepper is a cayenne pepper. It's not red flake. Normally I use red flake. A little cayenne, black pepper, a small amount of a smoked paprika. Normally anything from Turkey, most dishes has paprika one way or other is either in the form of the sauce or a smoke or sweet or a spicy they use this a lot and i'm gonna use a little grinded saffron normally i don't use the saffron dry but uh, right now you're gonna mix up with this sauce we're gonna mix up with all this stuff it's gonna be really good okay I'm gonna pulse it again I guess I'm gonna test a little to see how how is my salt I think it need a little bit more salt Now I'm gonna add my ground beef. And I'm gonna turn it on again. Doing it in the food processor, it gives me that stickiness I need to make it stay on a skewer. My meat, it has a 15% fat in it. Uh, 
in order it get a sticky enough to a stay on uh, a skewer I really have to have some fat in it normally I get 4% fat but uh, for a kebab you need uh, more I always like to add a little lemon juice to everything You should be careful, don't overload your food processor because if it's too much in it, you have to constantly open it and mix it with the hand. Otherwise, it's going to be too much pressure in a motor of your processor and it could kill the food processor. So this is enough right now. I am going to add this to the bowl and do it with the hand rest of the way. Okay, I like to add a little somag right now in it. Of course, we serve this with somag later as well. So it's a variety of the health reason Persian or Turks they use in somag because uh, when we serving something meaty and fatty, um, they believe it would control uh, the cholesterol. So they are all about uh, balancing the food. So anytime I have a ground beef, I always add a little somag to it. Please uh, don't use the gloves when you're doing the food because regardless if you get uh, the latex or um, uh, latex free, uh, still it's not healthy to touch your food. So I'm go you're gonna wash your hand and uh, massage the meat by your hand to the point it get uh, uh, sticky. You see it, how sticky is that? Yeah, you see that? It's a sticky. Use a plastic wrap for helping me to skewer my uh, meat. This is the plastic wrap I cut and I put them right here. Of course, I have these uh, little measuring things. You do not really need it, uh, but if you want to buy it, you could get one of those package which has a measuring in it. And the pack, what package does is it, it has a different sizing for kebab. Um, if I do it in a grill, I do the larger one because I do it inside over the stove and my grilling pan is kind of small. I'm going to go with a smaller size toward the medium. We're going to grab good amount of this ground meat and um, we're going to put on in a form the size I want and I form it kind of like a rectangular way. Gonna make it a little thicker, rectangular. And then this is a skewer we using with the ground beef. Do you see how wide is this? And it's metal. I'm going to put them very close to the tip, not to the end, because I'm making it over the stove. I don't want to burn this wooden stick. And then I push it down, and I'm going to bring the plastic together. One from this side, and once from the other side. And then I open it and fix it up a little. And then I'm going to do it again. Going to lift it. Normally I'm not a big fan of the plastic. That's why I don't even use the glove. Uh, but it's really difficult to do this without the plastic. Unless you are professional. <laughs> so you would just check it, eyeball it, and see 
um, how heavy it is. If it's too heavy, it's more likely gonna fall off over the uh, over the heat. So you remove whatever you think it might be extra, and then you keep massaging it in a, a skewer and make sure it feels stable you see see what I'm doing and then with this two finger I pinch it one two three pinch all the way down it helps to get a shape and it stays in a skew and I'm gonna pinch in the tip and in the bottom you see it feels very stable I don't feel like this thing gonna fall but it's still I have a time what I would do is I'm gonna put them right here to rest while I'm doing the rest of it and it would be a gravity test if it, if it falls, no harm done, I'm gonna redo it. It's not over the grill yet. So I flat this, I make it look like a rectangular. If this meat wasn't massage enough, or if he has uh, the more liquid in it it's no way it stays on a skewer i'm gonna push down my skewer again i'm gonna bring my plastic over from both sides one at a time this is once and this one is twice Okay, I feel this one has too much in it. I'm gonna remove. You would feel it. It get heavy in one side. It leans. Pinching the top between two finger. Pinch and go and pinch and go. When I'm putting this over the grill, after it grilled both sides, I would brush it with a mixture of uh, brewed saffron and butter. This kebab, uh, it serves with the rice normally, but you could serve it with the, with the bread and uh, a slice of tomato. Okay, one more time. Bring them together with the plastic, kind of like sushi. They do that with sushi too. With the plastic used in the sushi. As I said, I really don't like using the plastic, but it's much easier to do it with the plastic. Okay, again, I have too much meat on it. Take it out, massage it in a skewer. Look how cute is that? Isn't that cute? You see the pen, the pinches I did? Look at that. Beautiful. My kebab passed the gravity test. None of them fall off. This was the first one I made. You see that? Still in one piece. I was thinking to make one without the plastic. See how it's gonna work. And I have a good 
good chunk in my hand and I'm gonna gonna massage it in a skew oh yeah you could do it without the plastic too look at that if the meat thickness it's right you don't even need plastic you see that hand without the help of the plastic oh nothing make me happy then <laughs> not needing a plastic If he has any opening or if it's not a smooth just fix it up yeah look at that looks really good it's um this is the one I did with the plastic and this is the one I did without I am warming up my grilling pan right now and after the okay I warm up vegetable oil here it is, is a cast iron grilling pan. Let me brush this a little with the oil. The oil is very hot. And I put it away one tip out from here and the end out from this side. So it wouldn't see a straight on the grilling pan. It's kind of like a little higher. Right now I'm just going to brush it with a little vegetable oil. Not the butter because I don't want to burn. You see this tip going to be here out and this end out. So it wouldn't see with all the pressure down on the grill. The kebab normally serve with the grilled tomato. In Turkey, plus grilled tomato, they will grill some peppers. You could grill the jalapeno. You see, it's not completely sitting in the grill, it's a little high. That's why usually I can move it. You see that? I flip it. This is one table of water, organic unsalted butter. I put a little saffron in it and I'm mixing it. And I'm going to brush it over. Stay together still. It didn't leave the skewer. Water. You could put it either over the warm rice or put them over the wash bread because the juice coming out of it is. Very nice, you don't want to lose it. From the saffron butter, I put a little in my white rice. And I'm going to turn off this. And every time we make the kebab, we got to have a grilled tomato. I make, I wash the tomato, make it in the half, and put them on the same pan. I'm going to add a little salt and pepper. And this is a jalapeno. 
I cut it into half, I boiled that one with it. And that was my Zafirani butter. I'm going to brush it a little. And I'm going to put a little pepper. I like to have a little crumb off. This was a, the pan which I did the kebab, so it has all those goodness in it. So that one flavors the tomato as well. And a little bit more soma. Okay, I'm gonna remove the tomatoes, put them on top of my kebab. And this is the green onion. You see, I washed it, I cleaned it, I cut the yellow uh, part off of it, and I'm gonna put them on hold in my grilling pan. Pepper with the pepper, you think that looks beautiful? I'm going to put a little butter and saffron on it too. Okay, my kebab is ready. See that? Now I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna remove it from a skewer. See, it's still on the skewer in one piece. You could, when it's a cool down, you could just grab on it and look, it came out. Look, it came out in one piece. You could use, look at my ground beef kebab. If it's hot, you could use of the fork and push it slowly out. You see, nothing is sticking it and it keep its shape. Look at my jalapeno. Look at my green onion. And the tomatoes. Let's see this side. It was on top of the rice. Has the rice is sticking it. Let's move this here. Make a little space for me. I put some somak. Little meat. A little tomato. I really like to put some of that onion on it too. Maybe later. Look at this. How is that? Look at this piece of meat, fully cooked. Wow, it's very nice, and it's very juicy, and it's completely cooked. I really like it. You know what else is good with this? To have some Shirazi salad. 